Welcome back to Squawk, our executive edge, the largest foreign IPO on a U.S. exchange since Alibaba starts trading. It happens today. Coupang prices its IPO at $35 a share. It's above the target range, as with it seems like every IPO these days. It values the company at $60 billion. Fast-growing e-commerce firm dominating the South Korean market, and it's had quite a journey to get to this moment. Coupang is an e-commerce giant in the largest market not dominated by Amazon, Walmart, or Alibaba. It was founded in 2010 by Boom Kim, who dropped out of Harvard Business School just six months in to start this company. I got the chance to visit Coupang headquarters in Seoul back in 2018. We started off with the Groupon type model. Uh, we did evolve eventually into a third party seller platform. The consistent vein through all of those iterations, through that evolution, um, has been something, a spirit that we've, we all often refer to in our motto. Let's create a world in which customers ask, how did I ever live without Coupang? In its filing, Coupang said it generated nearly $12 billion in annual revenue for 2020. That's a 91% increase year over year. Net loss narrowed to $475 million from $699 million in 2019. Coupang's end-to-end logistics network called Rocket Delivery promises next day or faster delivery for nearly all of its orders. And more than 75% of those Rocket deliveries are boxless. Among risk factors listed in the company's filing, Coupang warned it could lose market share to our competitors if we do not innovate or compete effectively. Coupang has its cut out for them. Amazon is trying to make inroads in South Korea. The market is growing very rapidly. One of Coupang's biggest backers is SoftBank, which invested $1 billion in 2015 and another $2 billion in 2018, bringing its last private market valuation to $9 billion. If we can solve it for this market, there, there are going to be a lot of other markets. And while Coupang has succeeded in the densely populated South Korea, time's going to tell uh, how it can perform in new markets, especially as we see some residents fleeing uh, from packed cities to suburban areas in the pandemic. We should also note that Coupang uh, was ranked number two on the 2020 CNBC disruptor list. And later in the program, we will talk with the CEO live right here uh, on CNBC. $60 billion valuation. Literally just weeks ago, people thought it would be a $50 billion valuation. And a year, a year or two ago, it was half that. So, um, well, maybe welcome to 2021. Uh, but we're going to talk to him about uh, where Coupang is going and uh, where it's headed in just a little bit in the 8 o'clock hour. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.